Sharon Connie from Prosperity Finance sharing the best financial tips so that you can be more successful with achieving your financial goals. Today, I'm really lucky to invite a special guest. Her name is Carrie Chun. Carrie is the owner operator of Upper House Property Management. It's under the professional brand. Carrie has a background in hotel and service apartment industry for many years before joining the professionals as a BDM and a marketing manager. During her five years with the professionals, she won a number of rewards, including the BDM of the year for many years. Early this year, she received support from head office to open her very own property management branch. Today, I'm really lucky to have her to share with us what is the tips so that you can find the good tenants for your rental property. Firstly, please join me to welcome Carrie. Hello, Carrie. Hello, Connie. Hello, everyone. Thank you for your time today, Carrie. I really appreciate that. <laughs> hey, Carrie, um, as discussed earlier, we have lots of clients used to complain that they had enough with the tenants. They really struggle working with the tenants. And even worse, they have to sell property in order to get rid of the head headaches. However, on the other hand, uh, I see you really enjoy doing um, property management and I just couldn't believe. I'm sure there will be some secret in, term, in terms of how to manage with the tenants and a lot of other things that we hate doing. So in today's show, um, can you please share us uh, some tips how to find a good tenants uh, for the rental property? Sure, Connie. Thank you for inviting me to be here to share my experience and also tips um, of finding tenants. So during the past few years, um, I've met so many tenants. Um, I would like to share my experience of how to find a good tenants for your property. So firstly, um, I would recommend or suggest to owner to understand what type of property you have. Um, in order to find the best match tenant for your property. Because, um, just for example, um, if you are having a relatively old house, I would recommend you not to pick some tenant uh, who is like very perfect um, on maintenance or, or the condition of the house. And if not, you will be like running a lot of maintenance every day. Um, for example, if let's say uh, you are having a relatively new house, then I recommend you to choose some tenant who are very attentive to details. They can uh, look after your house better and of course, the status of your house will not require lots of maintenance for them. So first, understand what type of property you have. And for some house, that lifestyle home, if you actually choose a tenant who is living from an apartment, then you will have a headache. Um, later on in the future. Yeah, so that is the very first uh, point to know what kind of uh, tenants suitable for your house. So secondly, I would say that it would be um, very important to choose your tenant is during the viewing time because um, the viewing time is actually a very good time that you can understand your tenant more by asking more questions, the chance to talk to your tenant or prospective tenant during the real time um, in, uh, in order to know them more before they apply to the house. So after the viewing, it's important that you run checks. So this checks including the previous landlord's check and also the credit check. So for the previous landlord's check, uh, it is really, really important, I would say, is with the most important step because you will be able to find out exactly what type of tenant they are. So questions you can ask including how much they are renting at the moment, are they keeping the house nice and tidy. After asking those questions, you basically know are uh, they a good thing for you. But make sure you are talking to the right landlord, not just their friends or family, because friends and family can always say good things about them. Yeah, make sure that they are clear, they pay the bills on time, they have no bad records in tribunal as well. So I think those are the four points that I can recommend to you when you choose a new tenant. But of course, there are lots more stories and 
things and tips that we can share later on. Excellent. Thank you, Kerry. Uh, that's really insightful. Thank you. I think I have a two thoughts. One is is more like a dating that uh, is actually not, uh, 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 I guess, good or bad tenants. It's really about matching the personality and habit, everything. And on the other hand, I also feel that's a lot of work uh, to do a proper job, you know, in order to achieve the outcome of finding a good tenants. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of other work involved when you manage property, so uh, definitely not easy at all. Um, yeah, I I um, came from a background where I start managing my property by myself first, and after after a couple of years, I uh, also got frustrated uh, with the tenants and with all the updated regulations, etc. And now I outsource all my property management. To my property manager so if you really uh, had enough like myself please feel free to uh, engage with Kerry uh, so that she can take the hassle uh, from you so you will find the uh, Kerry's content details uh, in the video below thanks so much for watching um, I hope you find benef beneficial and if you know someone else your family friends would benefit from that please feel free to do them a favor by sharing the content with them. And if you like our content, please feel free to subscribe our YouTube channel so that you can receive the latest news and tips in the first place. Thank you for your time again, Carrie. Um, we'll talk soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.